Hi, I am Mohammed, an experienced translator from English to Arabic. I'm going to show you how Biru works can help you translate your content more efficiently. Here on the Biru Works platform, you can see that there are uh, segments that were translated automatically by the machine translation engine. If I click on segment 6, for example, I can see that there are five different grocery terms identified in the source. These grocery terms are important because they help us keep consistency and accuracy in the translation. But what if the machine translation doesn't include these terms? Let me show you. When I looked at the machine translation for segment 6, I can see that only two of the grocery terms were respected over here, as you can see them highlighted in yellow. They are Biru Works and Management, which were translated into Biru Works and Idara whereas the other terms were not translated. As we can see, the number of highlighted words in the target column is less than the source column. But if I ask the uh, artificial intelligence to translate and then apply this translation, and we can do this with full automation, now all of a sudden, it's respecting full one-to-one -one correspondence between the original glossary and the translation. And it's also adapting the text automatically. So, as you can see to the right, we have Ask AI to Translate. Now, we'll click on it. Then, we'll click Apply this translation. Now, the translation has been changed by the AI uh, to a new version following uh, the uh, glossary terms that we have already added. Now, as you can see, Brewers and Management were previously and correctly translated. Now, we have Cumbersome. It was changed uh, from al murhiqa to al mutriba localization changed from uh, al-ta'rib ila to al tawtin and predictable changed from qabilatin uh, al-tanabbu to yumkinu uh, al-tanabbu biha now let's say that i want to add a new term to the glossary i'll add the term work which is translated uh, as ta'awun in my language or amal in my language as a noun and i'mal as a verb. To add some variety to our translation, I would like to translate the verb work into ta'awan instead of amal. Now, uh, the process is so easy. You just need to click on the word uh, that you want to add to the glossary and then click add term. Now I'll type ta'awan, the imperative verb for work, and click save. Yes. In the same segment, uh, we have, for example, global. Now, let me add uh, a term for this uh, English word, add term. Uh, the machine translation for it is Al-Alamiya. Now, I'd like, like to change it to Zati al-Mustaw al Then we click Save. Now, let's ask uh, the artificial intelligence to translate this segment for us. Ask AI to translate. Now, let's apply this translation. As you can see, work, the first instance of work, which is the imperative verb, was changed from i'mal to ta'awan. And global was changed from al-alamiya to ذاتُ المستوى العالمي. In this case, the AI followed our glossary and also adapted the translation for the last part of the segment, which includes من أفضل مواهب الترجمة ذاتِ المستوى ذاتِ المستوى العالمي. Now let's take some other example. In segment 24, we have turnaround. Turnaround was translated by the machine into تحول. But in our context, it doesn't mean تحول. It it means delivery time. So uh, let's add a term for turnaround. Delivery time can can be translated into zaman injaz. Save now. After adding the term, ask AI to translate. The translation was changed from تحول المذهل إلى to zaman uh, injaz As we can see, the adjective was also adapted to the new term, and السريع uh, looks better in my opinion, than with him. Now, in segment 25, we have TMS. TMS means Translation Management System. Now, I'll change TMS to Nidhamu Idar Tittarjam. Click Save. Yes. Now, let's ask the artificial intelligence to translate this segment again, following our glossary. Ask AI to translate, then click Apply this translation. Now I can make some 
change to in, to improve the readability of this segment. اكتشف نظامنا لإدارة الترجمة. Now we can confirm this segment. And as you can see in segment number 27, we also have TMS. And TMS were, was fed, already fed to the translation glossary. Also we have إدارة توطين. So uh, I think we need to modify this translation so that all the terms are consistent. Now let's ask AI to translate. Now apply this translation. Now we can see that uh, TMS was changed to Nidamu Idarati Tarjama. Al Tarib was changed into At Tawteen. So uh, the AI has followed our glossary. Now let's take, for example, segments 28, 29, and 30. In these segments, we can see that 28 and 30 both start with an infinity. However, 29 starts with uh, an imperative verb. So uh, let's uh, try to unite these translations uh, in order to keep them consistent. Here for provide, we'll add قدم. Click save. Now ask AI to translate. Apply this translation. As you can see, uh, the translation was modified from تقديم to قدم عروضا فورية. We'll apply the same uh, modification to segment number 30. Instead of تزويد, we will use زود or قدم. Now ask AI to translate. Now the translation will be modified the same way. تزويد المترجمين will be changed to قدم. لمراجعيك ومترجميك محررة ترجمة الخاصة بنا بيئة إنتاجية مثالية So, in conclusion, by integrating context-aware analysis, our user-friendly platform will streamline your projects. It's a pioneering step that will change the face of translation uh, or the machine translation in the market soon. The AI will follow your glossary, so Rest assured that your translation will be 100% accurate and consistent.